This morning in the Roadshow Kitchen, Discover Newport has brought us Chef Eddie from Fluke Newport, and we have got a delicious uh, menu item that we are going to make for you today. Welcome. Thanks for having us. We are making red curry squash tortellini, but curry is spelled differently. It's not like the spice that we're used to. Tell no, us about this. Uh, so this is actually a type of squash uh, that I recently discovered. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there, there's there's so many different types of squashes that you can use, yeah. and I was looking for something that wasn't so sweet mm -hmm. uh, and more on the savory side. And, Yum. and in my research, I discovered the red curry squash. K U R I. Correct. That curry. Okay. So take us through the ingredients of what we need to make this dish. Uh, so. One of the first things that we start with is our hand-rolled pasta. Mm. Um, this is a program uh, that we've expanded recently, uh, especially coming into winter. There's nothing better than yeah. fresh pasta, right? Oh, it just yeah. makes you feel right. And we're making a tortellini with this. Correct. So tortellini, um, we take our fresh pasta, mm -hmm. uh, fill them with a little bit of the squash, Okay. roll them, and then we serve them with a caper raisin emulsion sauce. Oh, that's that right there, okay. Yep, uh, it has a nice mustardy taste to it. Mm. Um, we also garnish it with cauliflower and uh, Romanesco, which is a green uh, yeah. Roman cauliflower. That one looks uh, really pretty too. Yeah, it has all it's the points and you can see beautiful. that in the grocery yeah. store. Very geometric, very cool. What is this? Uh, so this is vinegar roasted beet puree. Mm, this is amazing. I love beets. This is what adds the brightness and kind of just makes the whole dish just pop. Mm -hmm. uh, and and with that, we have a little bit, you don't see it so much, but a little bit of the green basil olive oil. Yum. And then we have some delicious scallops as well. So yep. gather up your ingredients. We'll talk more about these ingredients. They're fresh, they're local. Uh, we'll get going in just a bit. Stick around. Well, I got to tell you, Chef Eddie is cooking up a storm here. Thanks to our friends at Discover Newport Fluke. Newport's the place. Red curry squash tortellini is what we're making. We also have uh, Betsy uh, Aiken, who's, who's here with us as well. We're going to talk to her a little in a couple of seconds about the children and the family's 35th annual taste of Newport. But first, Eddie, what do you got going on? Uh, so these are our scallops. Mm -hmm. uh, these are coming right out of George's Banks. Uh, which so that's is, fresh. Yeah, that's beyond fresh. Uh, so we're just doing a quick sear. Nice hot pan, uh -huh. one side caramelized, and then once they're about 75% cooked through, you give it a quick flip, quick kiss, and then they get plated. All right. Well, I'm, I'm waiting for that quick kiss of these things. <laughs> in, the, in the meantime, Betsy, see, you're, gonna, you're talking to us about the children and families' 35th annual taste of Newport. Explain that to us. Right. So, Child and Family is an agency that's been around since 1866. Mm -hmm. So, for 152 years, Child and Family has been supporting families and young people throughout Rhode Island. And we're very excited because this year is a milestone for us. It's 35th anniversary. And, you know, we thank a chef uh, restaurants like Fluke. We have 30 different restaurants and beverage stations set up on Sunday, October 28th. We're going to be hosting our event at the Atlantic Resort in uh, Newport. We're really excited about it. It's a great opportunity for our friends in the community to support and raise funds and awareness for child sure. and family. Right. Well, this also may be, may be a great event as well to go. You said you're going to have all of these, these restaurants here. Maybe it's a restaurant you haven't tried before. Maybe it's a restaurant you haven't gone to before. This is a way kind of one-stop shopping and going in and sampling a little bit of everything. Absolutely. It's a terrific, and the restaurants pull out all the stops. They bring their signature dishes. They have an opportunity so that we can sample different foods. And like you say, you can't find it under one house, and you can walk around and enjoy your starters, your mains. And, and, and tickets are still available. Tickets are still available, and I encourage folks to go to childandfamilyri.org. You can just buy your tickets right uh -huh. online. It's super easy. Sunday, October 28th at 5 p.m. That's a way to sell it there, Betsy. All good. All right, we're going to put this uh, recipe together and talk about Fluke Newport as well in just a little bit. Fluke Newport is the place. Thanks to Discover Newport for bringing in Chef Eddie and this delicious recipe. I'll tell you what, anytime a homemade pasta option is on the menu, I'm sold. And that's what we have here today, a, a tortellini. Tortellini. Yum. Tell us what you're doing. Uh, so at Fluke, uh, as, well, me and uh, my sous chef mm -hmm. love making pasta. Yeah. Uh, so we have things like uh, squid ink, uh, angel hair. Mm -hmm. uh, we're coming up with a new gnocchi dish. Yeah. Uh, we have a hazelnut uh, ricotta cavatelli mm. that we're making. 
uh, and this is one of our signature dish. Uh, Fluke has always been known for its scallops. Yeah. Uh, we are blessed with George's Banks and the bounty of mm -hmm. scallops that comes out of there. We're very lucky yeah. being around here for Absolutely. all of the delicious seafood, especially scallops like you mentioned. Uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to, I'm going to show you how to roll tortellini. So go okay. ahead, just follow my lead. All right. Take this in your hand. Okay. All right, we're going to take a little kind bit of, my of this. There. What is that? Just some water? Just water. Okay. Yeah, just a little Nothing bit of fancy. water. No. You don't want to oversaturate it. Okay. Now you're going to take one end and mm -hmm. bring it up to the other. All right. And pinch. Okay. Like a little stork. Got it. All right. Then Maybe. you're going to take the left side okay. and begin to pinch upwards. Really seal that in there. Really seal that in there. We don't want any of this there. filling going anywhere. Now, from here, pinch out the air. Oh. Right? Yeah. And that'll kind of give you a it. nice, yeah, and then work your way up to the top. You're going to do it on the other side? Yeah. Okay. And then pinch the air out of that. And that's it. Wow. Now, take this right in front of you. Mm-hmm. Pinch down pinch like this. Pinch down. From here. Okay. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah? Pinch down. <laughs> that's good enough. <laughs> okay. And then put your finger right here uh -huh. and roll it around. Roll it around my finger. Yeah, there you go. You got it. And now nice. take that and pinch it tight. And then pinch it tight. That's it. Hey, that's not bad for my first try. No, that's amazing. <laughs> You're hired. Nice. I love tortellini too and I never think to do it myself, but that was pretty easy. Yeah, absolutely. Even making pasta is a fairly easy process, but it's something that people don't think to, to make at home. No, and you know one of the things one of the things that we always teach that I always tell myself is don't be afraid to mm -hmm. try anything, right? There's an abundance of information out on the internet, and yeah. if you want to make something, seek out that information and right. figure it out. You can do it. Yeah, absolutely. And we can do it. Uh, we can plate up this recipe. Yeah. So you have our, to our the tortellinis in there with the cauliflower and romanesco that you mentioned before. Yep. So what we have, what we have is. Um, caper raisin emulsion sauce. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a sauce that is dear to me. It's borrowed from um, a chef that I worked for in the early 2000s in Manhattan, yeah. where I spent about 20 years Whoa. working for uh, a number of Michelin starred chefs. Mm -hmm. uh, Jean Georges uh, famously served this sauce with his scallops. Uh, and it's just something that's always, that I've always yeah. held on to. So, how do we plate this up, Chef? Uh, so, this guy. We're just going to warm this up a little Swap bit. Spots. Warm it up a little bit mm -hmm. just to kind of coat it. Okay. Right? Get that sauce in there. Yep. All right. And the then sauce, we've got. The tortellini and the scallops all coming together. Yum. We've got our cape and raisin, caper raisin emulsion sauce. I like to. We've been messing around with uh, asymmetrical plating. Mm hmm. You know, which is just a modern approach. Nice. Uh, so we're going to do that so, yeah. on the right-hand side. Go ahead, Chef, and finish that up. And we will show a, uh, a finished shot of this plate to close out our show. But it looks beautiful as everything is coming together there. You can f obviously find this over at Fluke Newport and find our recipe at roadshow.com. Enjoy.